I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. If you are new to this version, there is a link in the video description below to a demonstration and to where you can get the rules. Siamese Mahjong is when you play two hands at one time with one opponent. It's very challenging and a lot of fun. As a matter of fact, people are enjoying it so much, there are tournaments now. And in tournaments, they have prizes. Usually the first hand in each category on the card. So I like to practice Siamese Force. I'm going to pre-select categories and force hands in just these categories. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. These are the categories we're going to force. Quince, like numbers, year, consecutive run, singles and pairs, 369. We'll do three random pulls. We're going to roll these dice each time to determine if we're player one or player two. Player one will be odd, player two will be even. I rolled two, so we're going to be player two. Twenty seven tiles. We have a Joker pair of flowers. East, South, Dragons, Green and Red. We have lots of cracks. One, two, three, four, seven, nine. Pairs, one and seven. We have BAMs, three, seven, eight, pair of eights. And dots, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, pair of ones. If these were your dealt tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? forcing these categories. I think if these were my tiles, I would try for a pair hand and consecutive run. We have 11 discards for a pair hand and consecutive run. So I would come up with a plan B and keep consecutive tiles. Probably one, two, three, four. Backup plan. We have only two flowers. And if we play seven, eight dragons pair hand, Second from the bottom, under singles and pairs, we're going to need more flowers down here for maybe one, two, one, two, second from the bottom under consecutive run. But we might be able to do like numbers with ones. We could maybe even do a year hand. One, two, here's year tiles, two, one, nine, Two, one. So maybe keep the nine for potential year hand. This is going to take work, but I think I would try for consecutive run with these tiles. Probably we could even keep the three, but probably not useful because of we have ones in these two suits. So I don't know if a BAM is going to work. We could hold it though because we could do one, two, three, four, and it is in our range. If we get a white dragon, we could maybe even play one, two, dragon, one, two, dragon, pair hand, and use these down here, and then maybe play seven, eight. 
also keep these. Since we have a gap, no eight crack. I think I would give this up. We need more discards to get us tiles that we need. Seven, eight singles and pairs or seven, eight consecutive run. One, two singles and pairs or consecutive run. I rolled a 10. We're going to be player two again. We have a couple of jokers, pair north with an east, all the dragons, one of each. Then we have cracks, a pung of fives, pair of eights, pair of nines. We have bams with a pair of twos, one, two, three, five, six, seven. And then we have single dots, four, six, eight, and a nine. We need to force quints, like numbers, the year, and three, six, nine. Which would you force? If these were my tiles, I would play a quint with fives and three, six, nine. Here's how I would do it. Jokers for the quint, five dragon five, last hand under quince or north with five if we can get flowers then down here hoard every three six nine including dragons because there is one hand that uses dragons mixed suits third hand down so i would do quince and three six nine use these as joker bait and if you want to know about joker bait, it is a great strategy coined by Tom Sloper. There are links in the video description below to some demonstrations on how it works. You hold pairs you don't need. In the middle game, you discard one. Your opponent makes an exposure with a joker. You use the second one to make the exchange. And we have two sets. I would hold these as long as possible, discard those, Gather three, six, nine, fives, and flowers. Maybe even hold the east just in case it pairs up. Discard these first over here. an odd. So we're going to be player one. We need to force like numbers in the year.
Wow. <laughs> Joker flowers. Three. News with a pair of norths. Pong of white dragons. Green dragon. Three cracks. Four, five, eight singles. Three dots. Three, six, seven singles. Lots of bams. Three, four, five, six, eight, nine. Pairs. Four, five, nine. We need to force like numbers and the year. How would you do it? And what would be your discards? If these were my tiles, I would leverage news and play the news year. Then down here, I would play like numbers with fours, fives, or sixes. Probably fours or fives. We don't need all these flowers. Either fours or fives with flowers. News with the year. Ten discards. This is going to take work. We have a big gap. No two. And that needs to be a pair. We could maybe use this for the missing one. Here, we've got a lot of work to do. Maybe we could hold the sixes just to see. We could even hold eights. Like numbers with fours, like numbers with fives, like numbers with sixes or eights. But I'd like to leverage one of these multiples. Four or five would be my focus. But we have enough discards to get rid of so we could keep these for backup. When you force hands in particular categories and you have eight discards or less, I would say you've come up with a winning plan. If you have more than eight discards, consider making a plan B and holding some of those discards to support your weakest hand. That too could be a winning plan. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Siamese Force for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.